Hi everyone, uh, or should I say good morning, good afternoon and good evening to wherever you are in the world. I decided that I would have a little bit more of a focused um, speech to say today. So <clears throat> happy full moon in Capricorn. Anything that challenges you right now will pay off on a large scale if you choose to work and play through it. Think about how far you've come and fr and from, uh, sorry, think about how, how far you've come from and where you are right now. And truly uh, make time to take a moment for yourself to review and to congratulate yourself, acknowledge how strong you've been when you felt your weakest, for example, and how you might have felt like you couldn't get through a certain situation, but you did, or perhaps you might still be going through it. Either way, is the perfect time to be, to recognize what we've been through and congratulate ourselves, whether it's verbally or doing something special for yourself or my favorite way, <laughs> taking off the pressure, being lighter on yourself and having more fun. Life doesn't always have to be work, work, work and hard and oh, like difficult, what was me, everything's so difficult kind of uh, energy. It can be fun, it can be playful. Challenges and growth don't need to just be difficult and hard to move through. It can be fun. And the more conscious we are about creating our lives, the better it is for us and for everybody around us because, you know, we have this ripple effect. So the full moon is a time where we can begin to see our manifestations from that we set from the new moon coming to life. Remember though that some take a little bit longer than others and to be patient and kind with ourselves if we're not seeing any results. One important thing to note is that when we make time to come from our heart and make our intentions and our our wishes and we ask the universe we can begin to see signs of our manifestations already <clears throat> for example you might experience something shortly after or you know it could be immediately after it could be the day after it could be a week after where synchronicity happens or you find something that is a symbol of what you've been asking the universe for. So pay attention because the universe is always talking to us in different ways and we're always receiving signs. So if you're paying attention, it helps a lot. You can release that doubt, that worry, those fears, and just focus on the positive and what's coming. So it is the perfect time to release resistance more deeply. And I'm not sure if you're able to hear this, but in the background, I'm actually playing um, release resistance, allow and receive Manifest your desires with ease, which is a subliminal meditation. Now, I find it very helpful to stay focused and to um, assist myself on all levels when I have subliminal, uh, binaural, isochronic or solfeggio tones going on in the background. But it doesn't only have to be those. You can also listen to uplifting music or peaceful music. Of course, it depends on what mood you'd like to be in and being conscious that we can actually change and shift our moods 
and be in a in a lighter place which is more uplifting so that we can actually uh move through things a lot faster easier and with more fun if we if we so choose it is all about choice so it's the perfect time in this full moon in every full moon to focus on forgiveness I made a video the other day that can guide you gently through your journey if you wish to have a look at it I've included the link I also share a little bit about my poem that I wrote a few years ago called love letter to my body and I invite you if you feel so drawn if you feel drawn to it to make your own love letter to your body and if you are brave enough and wish to share it I would really love to see a video of you reading it or you know you could either write it and share it or um, it's really up to you but the point is to really appreciate our body and how far we've come how much it does for us and focus not, not focus as in worry about or be down or hard on ourselves about uh, the the state that we're in but more so acknowledge the problem or the challenge or the issue and then find help healthful and helpful ways to support ourselves on every level that we need so that we can move forward with confidence with ease and grace we are in some pretty amazing times astrologically speaking uh, from what I have interpreted from the Leo King who has posted a few videos or he posts videos all the time and other feelings and experiences that I've been having it is a time this year for a very deep review and refocusing of our lives in all aspects so at the moment we are experiencing a process of being coerced and if you have resistance to it then you might be being pushed and things might be really difficult at the moment coerced into alignment with our soul and for me when I think about our soul I think about the different aspects of the parts that make up our soul and I've come to the conclusion that it's our our body our mind our heart and our overall being which all together is our soul so this alignment of planets is asking us where we are in our lives right now and where we'd like to be and if we are or aren't in alignment with our soul living from our hearts speaking our truth with love just being real with ourselves and others so the Leo King perfectly expresses it in a video that he did recently and I've put up the link for that Mars has just recently turned retrograde which means that instead of outwardly being able to express our anger and our frustration it is focused more inwardly it is absolutely important to clear our throat chakra and practice speaking our truth more openly and honestly if we wish to have a smoother ride in these times when we have the courage to speak up we get support from ourselves and if we have the right people or supportive people in our lives who also are moving in the same or similar direction 
then they also will support us. And by supporting us, they're supporting themselves and we're working and playing together to move through these difficult times in easier ways. So if you aren't familiar with how to clear your throat chakra, close your eyes and take a deep breath. And exhale, releasing anything that may be blocking your throat chakra. Now, imagine this energy or this um, this discord going back down into the earth so that it can be cleansed, renewed, and recycled. And connect your roots down, 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 down into the core or the life force of Mother Earth. Just take a few moments to really feel her loving energy. Now, if you have been uh, tuned to Reiki, and even if you haven't, just rub your hands together. Make sure that they get warm, and then focus your hands on your throat. And just breathe to receive. Now imagine the most beautiful blue you've ever seen, beautiful light blue, coming in and really clearing out all that discord, all that density in your throat chakra. You may need to burp, swallow, or clear your throat. These are all signs that you're clearing your throat chakra. And just allow yourself to be present with your throat and listen to anything that it needs to tell you. Now repeat after me out loud or if you're around people that you feel uncomfortable with in your head. My voice is clear. I communicate clearly, speaking with truth from my heart, with love. My voice matters. People who I cross paths with make time to listen to me because they know what I have to say matters too. Breathe that in and exhale, releasing any and all resistance across the entire time-space continuum on all levels, past present and future so personally I have been feeling this uh, inward aggression and frustration and I'm actually really grateful that I have been because now I've had that personal experience I get to share it with others from a deeper understanding and because I practice what I preach and I utilize the many techniques and tools that I have developed over the last 15 years, I can clear my resistance really fast just by being present and, and putting those into practice. And I really, really, really love and I'm so passionate about helping others to do the same, to become more conscious in their choices and their actions to be a conscious creator to the best of our ability in every moment.
because it has just absolutely transformed my life. I am nowhere near the person that I used to be. Though the core aspects have stayed the same. I've just been able to more deeply understand who I am, who other people are, how to stay grounded and navigate through the different challenges that come through in life. And last but not least, I'd like to share my Oracle deck that I have been creating or that I've created which is a bigger part of the project that I've been working on. So I think I called them the Rainbow Oracle. And before I did this video, I thought that I would pull out a card for myself and see if this resonates with others. So this is the card that I've created. Fun fact about owls, in most cultures that I have uh, looked up or known about, the owl is a symbol of wisdom and knowledge and sharing that wisdom. It is a very positive sign. However, I do believe that it is Native American Indians who actually see the owl as the complete opposite. And I thought, I wonder why the Native American Indians do see the owl as a shadow aspect. And I guess with everything, there is the positive negative and neutral side of looking at it so yeah i guess it, it could just show uh that we're not appreciating or acknowledging our wisdom and when we when we don't do that it can cause havoc in our lives or listening to the messages that the owl is bringing us in this case if we're not listening to it then we're missing out on opportunities and therefore we're missing out on chances to truly grow and evolve through our challenges. Hmm. So basically to me, this card symbolizes that there is an important message that is coming our way and just to pay attention to what it is. Because when we have this inner knowing, then we're more able to be aware of it when it comes up in our consciousness or in our everyday life. So messages can come through in different ways, um, depending on our strengths and how aware we are and our clarity. We can have our inner knowing, which is clear cognizance we can experience hearing messages or thoughts it can be from our guides or guardians um, as well as on the radio for example or when someone's talking to us and they might accentuate a certain word and that just is a sign to pay closer attention to or we can also see visuals and have our, our foresight come to the front. So there you go. That is one of my beautiful oracle cards <laughs> of wisdom and that a message is coming our way. So if you are on here and you would like a card, I'm not really sure who would be awake at this time or who would be watching. So I'm just going to put it out there that the first, well, let's go with the first three people who respond that they would like a card from my Oracle deck. 
I will uh, send them a message on this video link just so everybody else can see the message as well. And yeah, then you get to know my cards a little bit better. I'll just show you a, a glimpse. I've had so much fun making these, to be honest. Um, at first I thought they were a little bit childish, but then I realized it's just kind of my style, I guess. Um, lots of colors, and I love this one. I love all of them. <laughs> lots of colors and just the way that they come to me. I think that because I've been called childish a lot or immature when I was younger, I took it on board as a, a negative thing and I did actually feel that they meant it in a negative way. But since then, I've grown to understand that it's just my inner child and my passion and my purpose coming out more clearly. So um, instead of saying that they're childish, it would most likely, well, it would benefit me more and empower me more to say that they look <laughs> colourful and they really truly embrace the inner child, which is a pretty big focus for not just myself but also my purpose in life. So to sum this all up, I'm going to show you this card, which is all about the choices that we make. Neither can, neither are wrong. There are always things to learn, no matter which direction we go. But ultimately, it is up to us to tune into our, our body, our mind, our heart, and our soul to know which direction to go. And if we're feeling lost, it can be quite scary. And I think in those moments, it's even more important to be kind with ourselves and just give ourselves the support and the love that we need to, to move forward and to reach out and ask people to help us because there's nothing wrong with that at all. We don't need to struggle as much as we do. So I wish you the best in aligning with your soul. I wish you kindness and peace and gentle, loving integrations. Thank you so much for listening. I'm actually surprised that it went for 23 minutes so far. Um, I did think it would go lo a lot longer. Just a few things to remember. We are in hectic times. It helps to be grounded and centered. So do whatever you need to do when it comes to refocusing your diet, your exercise, and your overall routine. The retrograde period is the perfect time to reassess. <laughs> it's funny, I was just shuffling my cards and the card that resembles the retrograde period did come up and retreating as well. Whether it's going to a physical retreat or to just spend time in nature or you know just feeling how you would feel when you are at a retreat no matter where you are so focus is inward yes however it is important to remember to express ourselves outwardly as well it definitely helps and it doesn't all have to be so serious and boring either think of inventive ways that you can bring more fun lightness and therefore joy into your life Give yourself the love that you need and make sure that you feel and that you are recognizing and implementing what you need, meeting your needs before you go out helping other people or even before you go out of the house if you can. Make time to meet your own needs before you leave the house 
and you will have a lot more of a solid foundation and you'll find that you have more gratitude, more peace, more clarity and when you are in these hectic moments you will know exactly how you're thinking and feeling and exactly what isn't yours so therefore it could be the person you're talking to or the collective that you're tapping into so i leave you with this last question what does your soul need from you make it happen i love you wishing you so much love and peace mm.